Hi, I'm Brian from TheEpicenter.com. We're on the beach in Hawaii today and we're going to be trying out the CPAC. Now this is a water filter. It's actually a desalinator and it converts salt water into drinkable water. Now this can also be used for fresh water. It's very similar to a couple of other products we carry. There's a model called the X-Pack and that's intended for fresh water only. And then we also have a very small version uh, that's very portable. It's called the Life Pack and that's intended for fresh water as well. This filter uses a process called forward osmosis and to drive that it requires sugar on one side of the uh, membrane. So what you would do is you take these included cartridges that have uh, a sugar solution and you pour this in the clean side and then you put your dirty water on this red port uh, on this side and that causes the water molecules to move from this side of the bag through the filter to the other side of the bag where you're going to be able to drink the resulting clean water. For salt water you use the entire bottle and for any other water you would use half of this. So to, to make this process work with salt water uh, there needs to be a really really high concentration of sugars. So the resulting drink is going to be a lot more sugary than if you were to use this with uh, normal water, just fresh water or pond water or something like that. So we're going to go ahead and put some salt water in here and try this out. Now before you put your salt water in here, be sure to put this cap on. Okay, you don't want any of your contaminated water to get into the fresh side. So do that first, then open this port, and now we're going to get some water. We've got this filled with seawater now, and it's going to take five hours at 68 degrees. Now, we're in Hawaii, it's uh, roughly 82 degrees today, so it's going to take a lot less time than that. During this osmosis process, water is going to be migrating from this side to the other side, so what's left on this side gets more and more salty. So the manufacturer recommends that you empty the red side periodically. Uh, we're going to do this about every hour or so and then replace this with more seawater. When this process is complete, this is going to filter 97% of the salt in this salt water. It's been about an hour and we're going to go ahead and change this salt water and uh, put another batch of salt water in. So we're just going to dump this. You can see this liquid that's in here is actually drinkable water right now. You can see how much that's generated in an hour. Uh, and that's actually on the inside of a second bladder. This is actually a two-part. And uh, this side and this side is all connected together. So that's where the, where the bad water goes in here. And it actually circulates on both sides of the filter. And on the inside, there's this uh, curved piece. That's actually the bladder that contains the clean water. So we're going to go ahead and fill this up again with salt water. So that's filling number five? Yes. Okay, in about how long? Um, it's been four hours, so we should be about ready soon to uh, dry out our water. <laughs> <laughs> As you float away. Goodbye, honey. Goodbye. <laughs> we tried the fluid that came out of this uh, later in the day, and unfortunately, I accidentally deleted the video. So we're actually in Oregon right now, and with a little bit of magic, we're going to pretend like we're still in Hawaii. So what did you think about uh, the desalinated water that came out of this? Well, it was um, definitely had a little bit of a salty flavor. Um, I could tell that it wasn't fresh, clean, filtered water. Um, not something that I would live on for many days at a time, but it, 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 it was definitely refreshing fluid in the event of an emergency. Now my opinion was uh, it was very sugary, um, and I'm not a big sugar fan. It was kind of like a, a, a strong Coke that was completely flat. So. Um, too much sugar for me, but uh, you know, to be able to convert uh, water that you can't drink into something that could actually save your life, I think it's a very valuable product and certainly worth uh, having in your emergency supplies if you live in a coastal area or uh, if you've got a boat.
So that's about it. For TheEpicenter.com, I'm Epicenter Brian. And I'm Janet. And we're signing out.